Hey, Shad here with Speed Addicts, the fast growing gear site on the web, and today we're gonna uncreate the Arai XD4. What's up, Speed Addicts fan? Before we jump in and give you the download on the Arai XD4, do us both a favor and subscribe to the Speed Addicts channel. That way you don't miss out on any of the latest parts or gear coming your way. Speed Addicts is always getting first look, subscribe, don't miss out. Also, we should be considered your source for Arai helmets. We make it really easy to shop with us. There's a link in the description below that'll get you right over to this XD4. You'll also be able to shop for any other parts of gear you might need for your next two wheel adventure. Here we have it folks, the XD4. Now this video, admittedly very late. This helmet's been out for a long time. I don't know why we don't have a video on it up until this point, but better late than never. The XD4 is still a top pick for the hardcore in the adventure crowd. People that want one of the finest helmets available in this adventure format, which is essentially a full face helmet with a motocross style peak on it. Uh, the Arai XD4 is still very much part of the conversation. We still sell a lot of these. They're extremely high quality. If, in case you're not aware, Arai is all manufactured in Japan to the highest quality standards. When you look at an Arai helmet, you will not see a little extra piece of adhesive peeking out or any sort of fish eyes in the paint. There's not a thread out of place on the comfort liner. The quality control is extreme. This is a family owned company. It's um, still in the Arai family and uh, they do not chase fads. They don't chase profits. Safety and quality comes first. All this sounds appealing to you. You should consider Arai if you haven't owned one before. Once you hold it, pick it up, you'll understand the difference. I mean, it's just kind of like a professional grade thing. It's the difference between Ryobi and a Makita. You know, they're both drills, but they're they're different animals altogether. Now you are gonna pay a premium price tag for all that good stuff I just mentioned. The XD4 is gonna run around 639 to 769, depending on the colorway you're looking at. It is a sizable investment, but you are getting a five-year warranty and you're getting that premium quality that's really gonna pay dividends over the years. You know, you can get a less expensive helmet, but if you're the type of person putting a lot of miles um, on your headgear, it will start to pay dividends. Cheaper helmets usually wear out a little bit quick, more quickly, whereas in Arai, you will get that solid five years out of, out of it, um, the life, lots of miles before things start to degrade. This is, of course, a composite shell. Arai doesn't make anything else. It's gonna run three pounds, 10 ounces, so a little on the heavier side, which is pretty typical with Arai. They always tell you they're not trying to make the lightest helmet, they're trying to make the safest helmet they can. It comes with homologations from Snell 2020, M2020, and of course that DOT homologation here in the United States. And five shells, five EPSs. That is a key thing with Arai. They never compromise on the shell sizes. Each helmet mold is very expensive, so lesser, Brands will use less shell sizes, that keeps the price down, but it means you're wearing a helmet that's too big for you a lot of times. The actual shell is too big and then they fit it down with different size cheek pads and headliners. It's not optimal. When you're paying uh, top dollar for a helmet like for an Arai, you're gonna get more shell size, you're gonna get a closer fit, you're not gonna be wearing too much helmet for your head. Now, as far as the fitment goes, you have lots of adjustability with this helmet. You have peel away sections in the cheek pads and the headliner and then you can get all together different thicknesses of headliner and cheek pads to really dial it in. So five shell sizes, but you have um, just a huge number of combinations of the fitment to fit pretty much any head when you mix in the headliners and cheek pad combos. Now, in terms of, the, let's back up and talk about the price one more time. A lot of folks used to like veer away from Arai. It, the price tag would scare them off. Arai and was kind of at the top, right? Um, over the last handful of years, there are a lot more premium competitors, especially in the ADV space, that are making helmets in that $600, $700 price range. So Arai is no longer, you know, just kind of standing way out here on their own because of inflation and other um, competing factors. You know, the Arai price tag isn't quite as, um, let's say, just apart from the rest of the competition these days. So if you haven't looked at Arai in a while, you should also, inventories are better than they have been the past few years. So check out Arai, extra small through two extra large will be available in the XD4. This helmet runs true, it's an intermediate oval head shape, which means it's gonna fit most of your heads here in the United States. Again, peel away sections uh, do allow for a little bit of custom, um, custom fit. If you are a little bit more round, you won't know until you try it on. And 
That's why you should be shopping with Speed Addicts because you're gonna get no cost returns on our helmets. If you have any sort of fitment issues, you just decide it's not for you. All you have to do is lo live in the lower 48 states and you're gonna get that free return label to get it back to us. Get a different size, get a refund, whatever you need to do, give us a shot and we will treat you like family. Okay, let's look at the shape of this helmet. This is um, the Vision Red. It is a matte finish. A rise matte finish is very, very nice. It doesn't show fingerprints, really high quality matte. Now, the other thing you're gonna notice is that it is very spherical. Another thing a ride never compromises on, you'll never see dramatic shapes, big edges, anything that could catch in an accident, in a slide. They want a sphere, they want it to slide with as little friction as possible should you come off your machine. And that's gonna allow um, less energy to enter the helmet. That's always what they say. They wanna fight that energy battle outside of the helmet before it gets into the EPS. So you have that egg shape. All the trim on this helmet is meant to shear off very easily. Again, that's sort of towards that same goal. They always say glance off. They want the helmet to glance off. And so safety is always key here. You're getting the peak. You can run it with or without the peak. They're gonna include covers here, uh, side plates. So you can run this more like a traditional full face helmet. And I'd recommend that if you're gonna put down a bunch of highway miles, right? If you're on like a cross country trip and you know you're gonna be on the highway doing higher speeds, for the better part of the day. Pop this off, put it in your bag, you get a little bit less pull. Now this visor is, one of my nitpicks is that it's not extremely long. So the sun coverage is relatively limited compared to some of the other helmets out there. They have longer visors or even visor extenders, but you know, that is a nitpick and they've done that so that it doesn't pull on your head quite as much. Let's look at the ports. So you're getting lots of ventilation on the XD4. We're gonna start down low with this chin bar vent. This is pretty standard operation. You have this external switch on it, but then you also have an internal switch uh, on the inside of here. So you can really shut this down. If you're riding in cold weather, the XD4 is an, is an excellent option because you can really shut down the chin bar, you can shut down the brow and top vents, as well as the exhaust ports. So this thing, it, not a lot of uh, adventure helmets offer a fully switchable you know, intake and exhaust set up here. Um, so that's something to call out. Let's look at the face shield vents. You actually have these brow vents, which is very unique. Uh, no one else that I can think of does a vented shield. Now what they're doing is they're venting the shield, but they're, they're throwing it into these ram air vents that dump right on your temples. They're gonna help you keep you cool, keep you from making mistakes, which is especially important on an adventure bike. You get off the pavement, you get into more technical riding. You can move to goggles, but if you don't, you're running the face shield. It's really nice to have that extra ventilation point and cooling those temples off. It's a unique thing that only a ride does. Up top here, you have your first ram air intakes up here in the crown area. Again, these are switchable here. And then on the back, lots of exhaust to get a really good vacuum uh, ventilation system going that's gonna pull the hot air out and get the cool air in. So fully switchable here. The only ports that cannot be closed are these passive winglet vents down below. And then you do have a neck roll uh, aspirator here that'll let some of that hot air out the back. Okay, back to the face shield now. This eye port is decent. I've seen larger eye ports on other adventure helmets. Again, this helmet, this model has been around for a number of years. I imagine when they replace it some years from now um, that they'll go a little bit bigger with the eye port, I think is something I would like to see from Rai, but you'll get the job done. Now you can run this helmet without the peak. You can also run it without the face shield and just move straight to goggles or you can use goggles with the face shield on it if you're switching in between those off-road trails and back to the asphalt. You can even close your face shield over that goggle strap should you need to do that for some reason. Again, if you're moving back and forth quickly. Now, the reason you wanna to move to goggles is you're working harder, you're breathing heavier, you're gonna fog up the face shield. You want more airflow coming in instead of having the face shield down. The face shield has a lock here. You can run it in kind of this de-mist setting, which is right off the lock. And then the first detent is all the way up here. And then finally, fully open. Now you notice this face shield is not pin lock prepped, but pin lock face shields are available, sold separately, so is the insert. You can get uh, smoke shields as well. So you do have a number of options. That pretty much does it for the exterior of the XT4. Let's flip it over and show you what we're working with. On the inside, of course, a double D ring closure from Mirai. They don't mess around with anything but that. So let's go ahead and open that up. The other thing I'll call out that Arai will never do is a integrated uh, drop-down sun visor. So if you want 
something like uh, to deal with different lighting conditions, you're gonna have to go with one of their smoked options or you could run sunglasses under the face shield. Now, when it comes to eyeglasses or sunglasses, a rise are all compatible with glasses. That's something that they don't necessarily put in the marketing materials, but something they've always done and they just tell you like, yeah, of course, that's a straightforward thing. Okay, here are your D-rings. Here is your chin spoiler. It doesn't come out very far. It's not like a full chin curtain and it kind of tucks away in here. It does cut down on the noise just a touch. So that's kind of uh, an interesting thing that Arai does. Now you do have emergency quick release chin, um, chin or cheek pads here. You can go ahead and pull straight down or if you're going to remove the cheek pads on this helmet, there are these little switches. So you're gonna have to back those out first. And then what you do is you grab up here in the front of the cheek pad all the way around and pull it backwards and then slide it right off. Now, Arai does their cheek pad system a little bit different than other people. The cheek pad and the EPS foam behind it is all one unit. So if you want to adjust your cheek pad thickness, you do have these peel away sections right here. You want the helmet to fit nice and tight out of the box. It's gonna break in 10 or 15%. If that still doesn't do the job and you need a thinner cheek pad, you can peel this away. Or if you're trying the helmet on right out of the gate and it's squeezing your face a whole lot, you can just get a different set of cheek pads from the start. We can help you out with that here at Speed Addicts. So that is the custom customizable cheek pad uh, peel away here. Now, down below, this is where you're gonna wanna put your comm system speaker, and then you can just pull the sock right over that. So it doesn't have a speaker pocket per se, but it does have a nice large ear pocket here. That is another thing with a Rye helmet, you'll notice you put them on, your ears typically don't get bent over, they don't get caught up because they have nice large ear pockets, very comfortable place to be. Moisture wicking, antimicrobial fabric, the same stuff they use in most of their helmets here. I'm gonna flip this over pull this other cheek pad out of the way. Now, Arai will tell you when you're fitting uh, helmets, it's optimal to test fit with the cheek pads out of the way. Focus on the crown of your head. The cheek pads have a ton of different options so we can always get the cheek pads right. It's the crown that we're gonna focus on. If you can't get the crown right, out of the box, you probably need a different shell size. So just a tip there. Okay, now that we got the cheek pads out of the way, we're gonna remove that top liner here. This is held into place by four snaps. And these snaps, you wanna be careful whenever you're removing one of these comfort liners with the snaps on it. You don't just wanna yank at that. You can pull the female end out of the EPS liner, then you're in trouble. Just reach in right by that tab and roll it out very carefully, especially when they're new, they can be kinda of tight. Here is your moisture wicking, antimicrobial, customizable headliner here with these five millimeter tearaways up on the top and then on both sides. So you can remove wherever you need to um, make up some extra room here. And again, there are different sizes available. They are shell dependent. So you're gonna need help on that. Check that sizing guide or call up and talk to one of our rider support agents. Okay, now we're inside of the XD4. You're gonna see the world famous Arai One Piece EPS multi-density liner. This liner is tuned specifically for the shell. Not only that, the actual shell is tuned for different size heads. So the rigidity of the shell is designed for different weights of different size heads and the liners the same way. So a lot of thought goes into the engineering of this for optimal safety. Now the other cool thing about these Arai Comfort, or, uh, EPS liners is that they are one piece. Most other brands are gonna use multiple pieces and they're gonna fit them in there like a puzzle. Not Arai, they have a patented top secret way of getting a one piece EPS in here and uh, that means that there's no seams. If you have seams and you get hit on the seams, it's just not gonna perform as well as this single piece EPS. Now, the other thing is it is multi-density. So around openings, that EPS liner is stiffer. It's more rigid around the openings, not only down the bottom opening, but of course around the eye port. Same goes for that shell. You're gonna notice that Snell and uh, that Snell 2020 uh, tag in there. And that about does it. Let's look up in the front, let's see if I can show you kind of where these, uh, let's, where that, that brow vent on that face shield dumps off right here. It's gonna blow right into your temple. That's where that dumps out. And then you have multiple ports here for the ventilation system all the way across the top. So the cooling is great, which is nice for an adventure helmet that you might be working hard in. That does it for the Rye XD4. You got that five year warranty, that famous Rye quality. 
It's really hard to beat this one if you're looking for a premium adventure helmet. Head over to Speed Addicts to learn more. Of course, our rider support team is standing by. If you still have questions, um, head over to Speed Addicts. You can always talk to us. Talk to a real human over the phone, live chat, or emails. Of course, there are a lot of you that already have an XD4, so let us know how you like it. Help out your fellow riders here. Give us your feedback in the comment section, and we'll see you next time to find out what's in the crate.